Welcome to Canal Voyages, offering you four-star hotel boat cruising at prices you can afford, with a different cruise to choose from every week. These luxury hotel boats will cruise extensively through the English Canal and River systems from April to October during 2013. From Warwick, the first cruises take us generally southwards along the Grand Union Canal to reach London and the Lee and Stort navigations. Cruise 1 climbs through the broad locks of the Grand Union Canal to reach the famous Canal Junction at Braunston, with the last of the broad locks leading to the Long Braunston Tunnel. Turning northwards at Norton Junction, the canal becomes narrow with the four-lock staircase at Watford leading to the picturesque summit level of the Leicester section. The two five-lock staircases at Foxton a tourist attraction in their own right, and the short arm bring us to Market Harbour. Cruise 2 ascends the famous Foxton Staircase Locks and cruises along the isolated summit level to the Staircase Locks at Watford, before joining the Grand Union Canal main line at Norton Junction. We pass through the little village of Blissworth and the tunnel of the same name to reach the lovely village of Stoke Bruern with its canal museum. After the lovely lonely lock at Fenny Stratford and the three at Silbury, we reach Leighton Buzzard. Cruise 3 takes us through isolated countryside to climb the curling mass with flight to reach the summit level and across the Chilterns through a quiet wooded cutting. Then it's downhill all the way passing attractions like the ruined castle at Berkhamsted and the ornate bridge at Grove Park. The Paddington Arm leads through a surprisingly quiet and attractive approach to London and the moorings at Little Venice. Cruise 4 takes us onto the Regent's Canal and the little-known Lee and Stort navigations, passing London Zoo and the bustling Camden Market crammed close to the lock we reach Limehouse Basin. The River Lee makes a surprising transition from the urban surroundings to a smaller, shallower and more pastoral demeanour. The River Stort continues this tranquil atmosphere, passing the water meadows and mills at some of the locks. The hotel boats now return through London to reach the River Thames and the Kennet and Avon Canal to Bristol. Cruise 5 starts with the rural delights of the River Lee before reaching the bustling atmosphere of Islington and Camden and the oasis of Little Venice. Gradually creeping out of London, we descend the locks at Hanwell and pass Osterley and Sion Parks to Brentford. When the tide is right, the boats take to the mighty River Thames to head upstream through the large locks and passing Kew Gardens, Richmond and Hampton Court to reach the attractions at Windsor. Cruise 6 continues the journey upstream on the River Thames through Cookham, Marlow and Henley-on-Thames, the home of British rowing. We leave the River Thames at Reading as we join the broad Kennet and Avon Canal and cruise back into the open countryside. We'll glide under the lift bridge at Aldermaston while the motorists wait and encounter several swing bridges as well as the unusual turf-sided lock at Old Monkey Marsh on our way to Hungerford. Cruise 7 continues along the Kennet and Avon Canal where we stop at Croft and Pumping Station, housing one of the oldest working beam engines in the world. The Vale of Pusey, famous for its crop circles, leads to devices with its canal museum and the famous Cane Hill flight of locks. Bradford on Avon is one of the delights of the cruise on the way to the city of Bath with its spectacular Roman baths, just one of many attractions there. Cruise 8 continues along the River Avon to reach Bristol with its floating harbour and Brunel's SS Great Britain. With a second chance to see the delights of the River Avon, the boats return through Bath to the Kennet and Avon Canal. The climb through the Avon Valley is spectacular crossing and recrossing the River Avon on the Great Stone Aqueducts at Dundas and Avoncliffe. 
The mighty Canehill flight of locks marks our entrance into Devizes. The five nights of Cruise 9 meander through the Vale of the White Horse, past the delightful Honey Street, passing under the ornate Ladies Bridge and the little suspension bridge of Stowell Park, we arrive at Pusey Wharf. After Wooden Rivers, we pass over the summit and through Savernick Tunnel to descend Crofton Locks, past one of the oldest working beam engines in the world. Hungerford and Kintbury are passed on the way to Newbury. Cruises 10 to 14 take the boats northwards through the Midlands to Manchester. Cruise 10 continues along the Kennet and Avon Canal to Reading passing the several opening bridges and locks along the way, as well as the twisting section of the canal through the shopping centre. Heading upstream on the River Thames is completely different and the friendly lock keepers have many tales to tell as they help us on our way. Cruising past the dreaming spires and college backs of Oxford, we enter the narrow Oxford Canal to complete our journey to Thrupp. Cruise 11 takes Snipe and Taurus through the Cherwell Valley as we climb through the pretty Oxfordshire villages of Lower Hayford and Somerton with its unusually deep lock. Banbury, of nursery rhyme fame, provides a welcoming overnight stop. The charming village of Cropperty is passed before the canal winds around the contours of the landscape to reach Nepton with its windmill on the hilltop. The broad locks of the Grand Union Canal mark our approach to Warwick. The mighty Hatton flight of locks marks the start of Cruise 12 on our way to Kingswood Junction where we join the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal with the picturesque Lapworth Junction and locks. Three lift bridges add to the entertainment as we head past Cadbury's at Bourneville on the way into Birmingham. The main line takes us almost straight to the Black Country Living Museum. The Staffs and Worcester Canal take us through wonderful countryside to reach Teddersley near Stafford. Cruise 13 takes us through Tixall Wide to Great Hayward Junction, where we join the Trent and Mersey Canal. Initially one at a time, and then in flights the locks start our climb to the summit level, where we pass through Harecastle Tunnel, one of the longest in the country being over one and a half miles long. Turning onto the Macclesfield Canal, the views of the Peak District start as we make our way through Marple and along the Peak Forest Canal to Whaley Bridge. The five nights of Cruise 14 lead us along the Peak Forest Canal, one of the most attractive in the country. After the views across the valley at New Mills, we reach the locks at Marple in their tree-lined cutting. We emerge onto Marble Viaduct with the soaring railway viaduct alongside. The suburbs of Manchester gradually appear and we turn onto the Ashton Canal and descend into Manchester to reach Castlefield Basin near the heart of the city. Cruises 15 to 18 keep the boats in the northwest with two exciting new cruises, including the Manchester Ship Canal. The five nights of Cruise 15 take us along the Lock Free Bridgewater Canal, one of the first to be built in England, and across the Manchester Ship Canal on the Barton Swing Aqueduct. Travelling on through Lee and Wigan, the parkland and lakes disguise the former industrial background. Canal and River Trust staff will help us through the swing bridges on the approach to Liverpool, then along the Liverpool Link, through the once bustling city docks and past the Liver buildings at the end of our cruise. Cruise 16 starts with the Liverpool Link, through the docks and the Eldonian village to reach the rural Lancashire landscapes where the mines and industrial areas once crowded the scene. Passing the outskirts of Manchester, we're soon heading along the Lock Free Bridgewater Canal to reach the long Preston Brook Tunnel on the Trent and Mersey Canal. 
the unique Anderton boat lift that will lower us down to the River Weaver for our journey into Northwich. Crew 17 starts along the River Weaver to the Anderton boat lift, which will lift us up through 50 feet to reach the Trent and Mersey Canal with its three tunnels. The Bridgewater Canal affords fine views along the valley of the River Mersey as we head towards Manchester. Then the highlight of the season, we join the Manchester Ship Canal, passing ocean-going vessels and descending the ship-sized locks to reach Ellesmere Port and the Shropshire Union Canal for our cruise to Chester. The circular Cruise 18 takes us through the broad locks of the Shropshire Union Canal and past the wonderful Cheshire countryside. The locks of the Middlewich Arm will seem very narrow as we head into Middlewich and the sharp turn onto the Trent and Mersey Canal. The unique Anderson boat lift will take us down to the River Weaver in its tree-lined valley. We join the Manchester Ship Canal for our cruise to Ellesmere Port and our return to Chester. Cruises 19 to 24 take the boats back into the centre of the country and home to Warwick. Cruise 19 heads south along the Shropshire Union Canal. Beeston Castle looks down from its rocky outcrop and the staircase locks at Bunbury add to the excitement. Audlam, with its attractive village centre and the craft shop in the mill, has the longest flight of locks on the canal. Passing Market Drayton and shorter lock flights at Adderley and Turley, we find the deep cuttings and soaring embankments which enable the canal to stay on the level to brood. The five nights of Cruise 20 soon take us onto the Staffs and Worcester Canal, one of the prettiest in the country, with the ridge of sandstone that defines its course making for attractive surroundings. The unusual bratch locks, once a staircase, will keep our cameras busy, and the delightful village of Kinver comes next. The staircase locks at Stourport link us to the River Severn for our passage to Worcester. Cruise 21 is entirely river-based, starting with the mighty River Severn as we head downstream to Gloucester with the fascinating dock area and the Waterway Museum. Returning to Tewkesbury we join the River Avon for our cruise to Stratford-upon-Avon. Twisting through the countryside and gradually narrowing as we head upstream, there are many picturesque locks and narrow bridges to challenge the hard-working crew. The five nights of Cruise 22 take us along the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal, climbing through many locks and several lift bridges to reach Birmingham, built near the top of the hill. Through Shakespeare's countryside and the attractive Wilmcote Locks and Lapworth Junctions, we reach King's Norton Junction and the surprisingly green corridor into Birmingham. Cruise 23 takes us to the Black Country Living Museum, then down the long flights of locks out of Birmingham and along the Birmingham and Faisley Canal to Faisley Junction. Alternating countryside and small towns mark our journey along the Coventry Canal, where the slow filling locks at Atherston keep us entertained for a while, until the twisting long pound leads us past Hawkesbury Junction to reach Coventry and its restored basin. Cruise 24 starts with a trip along the lock-free Ashby Canal before turning south along the Oxford Canal with its modernised straightened sections to the much photographed triangular junction at Braunston. Passing Napton Junction, the broad locks of the Grand Union Canal, including the two lock staircase at Basket, bring us to Leamington Spa and the final two locks of the season at Warwick. With 24 cruises to choose from, there's something for everybody. The brochure provides more information and Corin or Neil will answer your questions. Just email or phone to check availability and make your booking. Which cruise will you choose? <laughs>